Hello guys, welcome to Vince Vlog. So for this video, we have here the 600 QVA. This one is containerized uh, generator and they have a lot of options. First thing we're going to do with the preparations with this generator is we're going to connect the battery. So after this, we're going to do the configurations of the module because this one is having a lot of options that we need to do the configurations like this one. We have the dual battery uh, backup. So we need to do the configurations the two battery charger and how the way it will work to this um, backup battery so after the connections we're going to do the configurations for those uh, options and for example we need to do the configurations with our analog which is we have the fuel level sensor our um, oil temperatures and the rest of it we need to do the configurations and also the digital input the digital output and all those are uh, needed for the configurations we need to do it and here we am starting to connect the battery so we can make it uh, soon this to be finished uh, so let's start configuring <clears throat> we're going to uh, connect the external power supply so we can check uh, if working our battery charger and uh, the rest of our uh, heater we're going to check if it is working so we'll just put the power supply so we have the 220 so we're going to switch our breaker so this main breaker so where is the battery charger so we have the supply still not okay so over here is we have already a supply so, so we have the B1 See if no communications uh, between the battery charger. So have to see if it's not working yet. We will check again the connections if it is correct. We are going to check the battery. Uh, we have the intelligent battery charger 1 and 2. So here gives an alarm which is uh, we have the intelligent ID 1 and uh, we have also ID 0. So the configuration is the communications is ID 0 and uh, ID one so that's why we have the alarm for that uh, intelligent battery charger so now since we are done do the configuration both for the module and for our uh, intelligent battery charger so now we're going to power up these two battery uh, if the alarm is being done once it is active the battery charger is going to say all the alarms is gone and we will check it from our configurations in daily battery charger id0 so now we have the communications and we have the voltage and we have the temperature we have the output voltage and the current charging point so let's check to the uh, Intelli uh, charger id1 so if we have also the voltage we have here temperature and it is charging also and uh, we have the current of 10 amps this is the maximum so it is working so i will try to off 
so it will give an alarm again so meaning to see it is working so at this point we are going to connect the power cabling for our load bank so we are ready for the test of the load of this generator if any uh, problem during the test so we need to check those uh, load if uh, this engine is capable of doing the 110 percent overload for a couple of um, minutes so this one is around uh, uh, give up at least uh, 15 minutes of uh, load testing to 20 minutes so this is how the standard uh, doing the test here while also we are preparing to the other generator because this one is urgently needed for this um, customer so this one is uh, given to the warehouse to prepare and finalize uh, those stickers to we can deliver it to them so going back to our uh, generator so here we are also uh, checking all the oil and coolant if this one is already ready and uh, also preparing for our um, muffler installations to avoid any uh, noise 1070 liters iba 1070 start na So this time we have a uh, shutdown alarm which is earth fault so I'm going to check uh, the configurations and the wiring why it's getting shut down and we will uh, change the wiring if any wrong connections.